I'm sure this tree needs no introduction. You see it every time you come to Tyler as you walk down the main path. The Kentucky coffee tree. Hi, it's Nancy at Tyler Arboretum. I'm standing under the Kentucky coffee tree. The scientific name for this tree is Gymnocladus dioecus. Gymnocladus means naked branch and you've probably noticed that this tree is one of the very last to get its leaves in the spring and one of the very first to lose its leaves in the fall. Dioecus means that there's an actual female tree and a separate male tree in this species. In 1976, an article was written by one of the Tyler members about this tree and we posted that on our website for you to take a look at. But I do want to point out some of the features that are mentioned in that article, especially the branches, leaves, and the flowers. So we'll take a closer look. Here's a nice look at the leaves. These are compound leaves on the Kentucky coffee tree. This is actually one leaf from the tip of these leaflets back to where it forms on the uh, branch there. These are leaflets, but the entire thing is called one leaf. And because there's multiple leaflets on this, it's called a bipinnately compound leaf. If there was just one leaflet coming off, this would be a compound leaf leaflets forming one leaf, but because there's multiple leaflets with multiple leaves, this is a bipinnately compound leaf. Up here we can see a flower blooming. Some of the blossoms are just opening up. So these are male flowers and their pollen needs to get to the female flowers. The female tree is behind the barn, so we'll take a walk down there and see just how far that pollen has to fly. at the female tree below the barn. Not quite as many leaves are showing as we saw on the male tree, but we sure notice those thick branches holding up those long leaves. I'm sure there's flowers up there, but I can't get close enough to show you. But I will look around and see if I can find a bean pod, open it up, and we'll see what's inside. Here's one of the pods. It's about four inches long, and we can see the beans inside. These seed pods spend the winter on the tree and fall to the ground in the spring. The settlers thought these looked like coffee beans, giving the tree its common name. They would roast these seeds and brew it into a liquid. It looked like coffee, but it certainly didn't taste like coffee. The Kentucky tr coffee tree actually survived the ice ages, and the animals that consumed the seeds, such as mastodons and giant sloths, no longer exist. There are no animals that consume these seeds today, making it more difficult for this tree to survive in the wild. We're back at the female tree. I'll leave these seed pods right at the base. Maybe the next time you're here, you'll be able to take a look. Open them up and take a look at those seeds. This female tree was purchased in 1947 from J. Steyer Nurseries, a local nursery to media. I hope you'll be able to visit soon and take a closer look at these magnificent trees.